What's going on guys, Hyper Orange here. And I'm gonna start off with saying that fishing from a boat is the absolute best or whatever it takes, a kayak just to get out on the water. But let's be honest, everything is so expensive nowadays. The fishing industry is just through the roof and it's, uh, it's just getting more and more pricey. Now, I'm sure 90% of people, if not more, started off pond hopping. I did. Now, the more and more I did it, the more I realized I needed a better system for my gear. I started off with a normal backpack, but to be honest, it, it was just a mess and uh, kind of frustrating and I knew I wanted something better. So that brings me to today's video. This is the Wild River Nomad CLC Fishing Backpack. This is an awesome backpack tackle box that I had since 2019. And today I'm gonna do a review on it. So here it is guys. This is the Wild River Nomad Fishing Backpack. First of all, I paid 180 US plus tax back in 2019. And after a quick search, you can find it for like 185 Canadian or 134 American. And you can probably find it cheaper and on sale at most sporting stores, to be honest. I hate when people do a review of certain products and don't say the price. Cause let's be honest, that's a big factor for a lot of us. That being said, I will admit this is expensive for a backpack, but the quality is there to back it up. My mindset going into this pack was buy once, cry once. There was a lot of features that drew me in, and now let's get into them. The first feature is this right here. The quick release plier holster. It is attached to the bag so it's not gonna fall off. And then this quick release is with Velcro for quick access to your pliers, which I deem one of the most important tools in a fisherman's arsenal. Boom. They're like that, quick detach, right back to go. What I like about having this on the side right here and what drew me in is I don't have to fiddle with digging around in my bag, especially when you need them. Nothing is worse when you have the fish hooked in a bad way and you need tools to get it out. No more digging, no more fuss, they're right here ready to go. On top of that, what I really like that they added was this right here. This is a retractable wire on a little keychain clip. Now I added a second one to bring it even longer because I just love having this. I attach my snips to it, which is also a jig head maker and uh, this is one of my most used tools as well with the pliers. Drop them, boom, right there. I could be fishing on the side. Oh, I have to retie, grab them, snip, done. I love this quick access feature and it really takes away a lot of time from all the hassle and lets me just get back and enjoy fishing. I can fish more and I don't have to worry about the hassles of like finding tools and worried where I put them. And it was a really well-designed feature. We move on to the top of the bag and this whole backpack is like a rugged nylon material, but it is a soft shell. But when we go towards the top, this is a hard shell. Now it was designed for sunglasses and to protect them. Now, if you're like me, I'm always carrying my sunglasses with me, but knock on wood, if I break them, I keep my extra pair right here ready to go and I love that they're secured. I don't have to worry about the glass or lenses breaking or anything like that. If it falls, if it's in the car and it's a, a bumpy journey, these are protected and it really makes me feel better knowing that they're always in there and I don't have to think twice. Continuing through the top of the bag when we open this up, this right here is a waterproof phone storage. Now technically you can do whatever you want. You can put your fishing IDs, maps of the area, your phone, car keys, wallet, but it is 100% waterproof and it's a really nice feature that they made it clear and right at the top. 
So boom, right away your phone's there or your fishing ID's right here, you don't have to worry about it. If you're in waders or if you're in water and you're going through mud and you don't wanna have your valuables in your pocket, you can keep it right here and know it's gonna be safe and dry. Speaking of waterproof, if we go on to the back of the bag and open this zipper right here, this is a waterproof bag that goes all the way around the shell of the backpack. If you're caught in big rain, this is a lifesaver. Now this material, it's not like if you get a bit of water, it's just gonna bleed through, but if you're caught in a downpour, you put this on, and what I like about it too, it's attached, you're never gonna lose it, and it's always attached to the back. So you just put it on, here it is on, and it is 100% waterproof. I've used this so many times, and it's so amazing because of it's attached and because it's inside. As soon as it starts raining, you put that bad boy on and you know your gear is gonna be safe and waterproof. Right at the bank. <laughs> Continuing, let's talk about the main attraction, the built-in flashlight. Now, some may say this is a gimmick, like, oh, why do you need that? But if you fish in the dark, for example, I do a lot of catfishing, I, I absolutely love it. I don't have to remember to bring a flashlight anymore, and I don't have to worry about losing it in the dark. This always stays on. And for me, I just love that so much, but it gets better. First of all, it runs on one AAA battery, which is really good, it lasts a long time. You have your one setting, which is low, your second setting, which is high, and then your third setting, which is a green light that works as a red light, you know, low light, so you don't wanna to make too much uh, light pollution. But what is really cool on top of that is this hole right here. So when the light is on and you have it out, of course it shines in front of you, whatever you're working, but when you close it, that hole makes the light illuminate in the whole backpack. So when you're digging around in here, you can see everything. And it's nice during the day, but at night, oh my God, I love it so much. It's just everything this pack has was clearly designed about a guy who fishes, who had frustrations and then kind of molded everything into one pack and it really shows. And for me personally, using it since 2019, I have used all the features and absolutely love it. So this light gets a big thumbs up for me and especially that hole to shine on the inside of the backpack. I love it. Let's talk about the storage. Now, this is a good sized backpack. It's not humongous, but it's not tiny. Personally, I think it's the perfect size. What I really like about the storage is this neon orange color. When you drop hooks or whatever you have in here, it's gonna stand out right away. And again, with that beautiful whole light, I can see everything in this pack bright as day, and I love it. This is a Tatula. And as you can see from the size, I can fit it comfortably in here and I can fit so much more tackle or storage. But speaking about tackle, you'd be like, oh, that's kind of awkward to put your box. Oh, no, no. They thought about that. For some, the main attraction might be the light, but for others, and I also love this too, is this bottom half right here. This will fit four 3500 series tackle boxes, and they even have them branded, but not to worry. This is a normal Planko box. Fits no problem. And it fits four nice and comfortably. 
On top of that, if you wanted to just bring one, you can do that. It also has Velcro to stop anything from shifting around, but it fits. It's snug, but not tight where it's irritating to get out. And like I said, one, two, three. It did come with another one of the Wild River, but I just put this in because I was uh, using that tackle. You can suck it out how you want. Four, and it fits nice and snug. And it was such an awesome idea. Like it, I, I absolutely love it. Because depending on what you're pond hopping, it's not like you're gonna bring your entire tackle collection. You bring a couple boxes what you need and you can sub it out for what you're fishing. Like when I'm doing walleye fishing off the shore, I'll have these two. But if I'm doing catfishing, I'll take all this out and have a lot of different catfish tackle. So it was really well designed and I, I love how they did it. Continuing with the storage, you have this front pocket right here. Now, I mostly use this for like snacks, like a granola bar or something like that. But right now I just have some O-rings and some extra tackle and it's just nice to have. You can have some Kleenex or a napkin or, or whatever you need in there. I like to put my water bottle in here and then whatever like quick items that I just wanna grab quickly or extras just to throw and I put them here. Now, continuing to the side. I love these pockets. You have this orange divider right here. And this is what I use for all my plastics. I also have some tube jig heads right here, but you can fit a lot. Let's see how much I got. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, plus the jigs. And you can absolutely load them up. I love that it like flings out, but it is sturdy. Like it's not like it's loose. It also has these things on the side so nothing falls out. Exact same setup on the other side and you can fit even more plastics. Now you don't have to put plastics on the side, but it just worked perfect for me and I do a lot of bass fishing. So every time, just quick relax, I have all my tubes on this side and then I have like Sankos and other stuff like crawdads on the other side. Also with storage, you have too many pockets on each side. I just have this as like a little junk drawer. It also has these nets. To be honest, there's so much storage, I never really had to use it. You can stick stuff all on the side and also have storage on the inside. Right now I just have some bobbers for carp. And then on the other side, even more storage at that. So this pack has a ton of storage. So if we move around to the back of the backpack, we're gonna start off with the handle. As you can see right here, some cheaper backpacks just have this and it's really thin. This is thick. You can hang it, you can grab it. It's been super durable. Speaking about durability, whatever this nylon is of the whole backpack of the material, it, it's been awesome. This backpack, to be honest, looks brand new and it has been abused. I have put it through the mud, the rain, the dirt, bushwhacking, and it doesn't even look like it has a scratch on it. When it got dirty, to be honest, I just sprayed it with some water and it came right off. So the material checks out with me. We move on to the back. These straps are very comfortable and they're padded with a sponge. So is the back of the backpack. It's really nice when you're maybe, you know, bushwhacking or pond hopping, covering some longer distances. That extra support is nice. They do have some extra support on the lower back and uh, it's comfortable. It is a comfortable backpack. This is a perfect size backpack for me. It's not tiny, but it's not enormous. It's like the perfect size. And all these features really show how the guy who invented this or the team really just wanted to take away all the frustrations when you have a normal backpack. And this pack does an awesome job. The features just don't stop. When we go to the bottom, you have these thick cleats in each four corner and in the middle. I love this because when I put it down on like wet surfaces or, you know, somewhat muddy or whatever, the pack isn't directly seeping in like to the ground. It uses these stilts that are pretty high off the ground. And what's nice about that, the way they're designed, when you put this upright too, this pack isn't gonna ever really fall. Now, of course it's on a slant, and it'll become top heavy and uh, topple over. But the way it is, you're never gonna pack it where it's gonna fall down. It always stands up perfectly. And it's just all these features, the light, the pliers, 
the hard case, the hole for the light, the tackle storage, the storage on the side, the interior being orange, the cleats on the bottom, everything adds up and all these features really do make it an awesome backpack. And I, I can't say enough good things about it. Now, if I'm gonna talk about the cons, I don't wanna be those guys that there's, there's really none, but you could argue the price. A lot of people are gonna be like, that's just way too expensive. Firm believer for buy once, cry once. This backpack has been awesome since 2019 and it's going strong, it looks brand new. And uh, it's gonna last my whole life. And I'm just, I'm just so happy. Of course, like I'm not just saying like, beat the crap out of it, but you know, I take care of my gear and uh, this quality product shows. And uh, for what it is, I, I really have no cons. This is exactly what I was looking for. It hits every single box and more. And I'm yet to see a backpack that's, that's equally as good. So there it is. That's my review of the Wild River Nomad by CLC. And uh, I sound a little biased, but I, I really do love it. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. That's not in my uh, personality. And uh, again, to reiterate, some guys are gonna be like, that's just way too expensive. I'm not stopping you from buying anything cheaper, but I live by the phrase, buy once, cry once. And it's already uh, proving it to me. Anyways, guys, I'm Hyper Orange. Thanks so much for listening to this review. If you guys like it and want me to review anything else or more gear, let me know in the comments. But uh, remember guys, it's all about getting out there. Cheers.